Yeah, game start. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, this is Super Mario Land. This is an interesting game because I, the most I've played of this game is just the first level, and I was just me testing this. And let me tell you, this was kind of a kind of a mess to set up, probably because uh, I wanted to originally play this on the 3DS because Mario Land One and Two are available on the eShop, but I my recording 3DS, which is like it's a it's a wireless like thing, so like I got it from someone from America, and I found out that if um. If you're from a different region, it's like almost impossible to uh, add funds to the eShop, and I I don't know if the uh, I can find a workaround to it. Maybe I can. I'm not sure, but I tried a bunch of stuff, and I just kept on running into um, roadblocks, and I just got really frustrated with it. And considering it was just I just needed to do that for like two games, I decided. Screw this, this this isn't worth the headache. I'm oh god. I'm just gonna find the ROMs and just emulate it on on a GBA emulator, which is what I'm using now. Like I'm using Visual Boy Advance, uh, which thankfully lets me play Game Boy games, which is what I'm doing now. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. So this isn't entirely faithful in the sense that like, I'm not actually using uh ha like <laughs> official hardware or anything. I'm actually using a damn it! I'm actually using a freaking Xbox One controller to play this. So yeah, that's <laughs> really that's really weird. So yeah, we'll just kind of roll with it and hope this works fine. So yeah, it's a little bit unorthodox for a, for an LP doing it like this, but there was no better alternative, and Nintendo hasn't really released a. Like, it would be great if they released, like, a Game Boy, uh, like, online thing for the Switch, that would be great. But, as it stands, I'm gonna be, have, I'm gonna have to play these games like this. Thankfully, these two games are really short, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue, but the fact that I do have to do it like this is a bit lame. But again, we'll just kind of roll with it. It's totally fine. So yeah, my history of this game is pretty non-existent. I don't really have much uh, exposure to this, like, I, I've i seen this game before, like, I, I'm not completely, like, what is it, I, it's, it's not like I know nothing, like, I, I know that this is based in Sarasa Land, like, this, this is Daisy's debut, and also there's just some weird stuff that's only really in this game, like, I guess the Cooper shells blow up, and there's a weird, like, Kind of cool, like, Easter Island kind of aesthetic in this game that isn't really in any other Mario game, so it has that unique, like, unique thing going for it, which I like. I like the fact that this game has a unique identity. And, you know, <laughs> the current um, 2D Mario games could learn from that, but I don't, I don't want to go too far too into that because... Yeah, I've, that's been discussed at nauseum. And I really, I will say this: I really love love the music for this game. I haven't really heard. I don't remember much of the music from like Mario Land Two, but this game, I like the. I really enjoyed the overworld theme, and I also really like the oh god, the castle theme as well, which got a really good remix in Brawl. That's probably one of my favorite remixes in that game. So. It's pretty good stuff, and uh, if you get to the top of this, like, this game's equivalent to the top of the flagpole, you get this little mini-game for extra lives, which is pretty handy. I think there's only, like, four worlds in this game. So, yeah, very short. And, um, yeah. Yeah, this track here, like, this is one of my favourite uh, Brawl remixes. God. <laughs> I I just see these. Uh, oh god, yeah, the ceiling actually does fall through the fall da fall down. Like, I don't know if anyone remembers or like knows about Cat Mario, but there was like this really. 
I remember back in the day on like Flash games and whatnot, like unfair platformer like Mario games were like a pretty big thing. And I remember like Cat Mario specifically having a bunch of traps like just falling ceilings and all this other stuff and uh, it's kind of wild. Oh jeez. Yeah, I just, I just love how this is just kind of a weird um, part of Mario's history, like, it's just really bizarre in a lot of ways. Like, you don't really see this anywhere else in the, in, in the franchise, and I, yeah, I, li I like that quite a bit. I, I like it when they do something weird like this. And I feel like, oh god, I feel like the weirder ideas like this keep help keep the series fresh from, like, you know, feeling stale and samey. Good. <laughs> like, even though I'm not the biggest fan of, like, Super Mario Bros. 2, I think it's still important that that's, that game exists, because I feel like without stuff like that, the series wouldn't feel as comfortable to branch out more, I guess. I don't know, maybe, maybe it wouldn't have changed much, but still. And all these weird, like, hieroglyphics and whatnot. Yeah! Also, this, uh, has a really unique power-up. Like, there's only one type of power-up in this game. And it's not the Fire Flower like you'd expect. Like, you get an item that looks like the Fire Flower, but you get this weird ball item instead that kind of just ricochets around the uh, screen. <laughs> this is so strange. Hey, yeah, there's only three stages in the world, I guess. Like, good lord, this game's so short. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, okay. Ooh. UFOs. Yeah, and I think, speaking of weird stuff, the main villain of this game is like, was it Tatanga or something? Like, Bowser's not even anywhere near this game, so, yeah, nothing. I'm good. <laughs> That's kind of weird. Um, yeah, the physics quite aren't quite one-to-one -one with, like, the NES games or anything like that. It's fine enough, but it's definitely different, so it's not quite- it's gonna be a little bit to get used to, I guess. Oh my god, I'm- okay, please. Can we please make this jump? I did- okay, easy now. I mean, I did say I haven't really played this game, so- yeah, but I would like to not fail too much. Is that a light? I can't, I, I can't tell if that's a one-up or a, just a... Damn it. No. Go back. Okay. That's fine. Like I said, there's like only like, what, four stages? So, I can't imagine this will be too difficult. I know there's like a shooter stage at like the end, maybe? I suck. Why am I- yeah, I really shouldn't be dying <laughs> this much, oh my god. Uh, that's what happens when you talk over a game you never played, I guess. Oh well. Alright, come on. And yep! Yeah. Okay, just get the can-can for the Starman theme in this because... Sure. This game is just so bizarre. What the hell? Right. I do like how they brought back this power up for Super uh, Mario Maker 2, though. Dude. And one ups are hearts, which is different. Nice. 
Yeah, even though I'm dying a bunch, like, <laughs> I'm still getting a bunch of lives, so it's not bad. Yeah, one life. Yeah, I don't know... I I'm pretty sure it wasn't Miyamoto, but that made this game, because I remember, like, Wario specifically was designed by someone else. I, I wish I, I, I should have looked this stuff up beforehand, but yeah. I'm pretty sure the like, Wario was designed by the same gu guy who like developed or like directed this game, or the Mario Land games. So, you can, you can kind of see like, <laughs> see that in the sense that like this is just so alien for Mario standards, so the fact that this same guy that directed this game made Wario kind of makes a lot of sense. Also, the yeah, the ball can ricochet and get coins, which is, I think, how you're supposed to get these. I don't think you're supposed to, like, actually get up there by yourself. Okay, that's good enough. I also know that, obviously, I'm not playing this because it's not the actual, how the game is was intended to be played, but... Well, obviously, I'm not playing it the intended way to be played, but um, what I was going to say is there's a, I think there's a, like a color, like someone made a, like a color mod or something for the two Maryland games, which, yeah, I'm not playing that because that's not the, like the original game wasn't in color, so yeah, but no, I wouldn't be opposed to trying that out for like a stream in the future, maybe, or maybe I'll just stick with the original, I'm not sure. It doesn't really matter too much to to me. I don't see myself playing this game like over and over again, but yeah, it's kind of just like a nice simple Mario game that you can just play every now and then just out of curiosity or if you just want something weird and different, if you will. Yeah, this... Okay. Yeah, I'll just ignore that guy. Uh, yeah, I also have obviously I have no idea where any secrets are, so I just kind of wonder. How do I get out of here? What? Excuse me? Is this like a troll? <laughs> oh, I see. What the hell? Wait. Hey! I was gonna say, like, what am I... Am I, am I allowed to leave? Am I just trapped in block purgatory? Yeah, it's pretty fun. I was expecting the uh, different physics to mess me up more than they actually are right now, so... I'm enjoying this a fair bit. Oh, good. Oh, okay, here we go. So this is what I was talking about earlier, like, you get some, some of these, like, shooter levels, which is pretty cool. I, I definitely take this over the underwater levels in most 2D Mario games, to be honest. This is very, like, I don't know if I'd say anti-Mario, but, like, it's definitely not what you'd expect. Maybe this is what, what inspired... Like some, what was it? I know there's a space area in the, uh, was it Super Paper Mario? Like maybe this inspired that. Kind of, yeah. It does, like, look pretty similar to that. So maybe, maybe it's it's probably just a coincidence, but you never know. Yeah, I do. I, I do like this. How this game is just, you know. Yeah, let's just kill Mario and then end the series. That'll be great. Okay. <laughs> no, I was gonna say, uh, I like how this game is just, you know, we know how, how this game is just really weird and just and nothing that you'd expect from Mario from this point. So, yeah, just th let's just go all out. Let's just have UFOs. Let's have, like, Eastern, Easter Island, like, heads and all that stuff. Let's have weird 
Egyptian hieroglyphics. Let's have <laughs> and let's have a submarine shoot like shoot 'em up level. Cause of course, like sure, let, let, let's just go all out with this crap. Like it's I don't know. I I, I just like that. It's just it's craziness. Like this, <laughs> it feels like I'm a play I'm playing a completely different game right now. And yeah. Uh, yes. Oh, right, I'm stupid. <laughs> My bad. Nice. Alright, move on. I mean, just... The ship just disappears. <laughs> oh. Daisy. <laughs> what the hell is this dialogue? <laughs> okay. I'm getting the two, uh, two, one up, uh, two up a lot. Yeah, the East Islands. Yeah. I, I would love to see them, like, go back to the, t go, uh, go back to Sarasaland sometime. That would have been the per- like, Mario Odyssey would have been the perfect time to do that, but I guess not. They don't tend to revisit areas in the Mario series. Usually, like, it's just like a one-game thing, like, Delfino Plaza was Sunshine, was Sunshine's game, and like, you'll have inhabitants come back, like the Piantas and whatnot, but the area itself, like, doesn't usually return. Which is a bit of a shame. Like, I, I would like to go back to some of these places, like... If you ever need areas to go for, like, another 3D or 2D Mario game or whatever, you have a bunch to choose from. Like, you can go go back to Sarasaland and maybe do some more wacky things here. Or you could go to, like, Bean Bean Kingdom, like, make, like, go back to that place from Superstar Saga and turn that into an actual, like, RP... RPG... Turn that into an actual... Um, platformer world, or something like that. I don't know. Like, it'll be cool. It'll be cool stuff. Yes, just <laughs> going on top of the bullet bill cannon. Oh! What the hell are you? Okay. That's weird. Yeah, that's weird. I don't even... <laughs> what, is... what even is this game, man? <laughs> Uh, be careful here. Oh, oh, okay. Well, at least I know where, where our life is. Yeah, there's not a lot of music in this game. I think there's only like three tracks. Like three or four, maybe. Dude, can you like piss off? Alright. No! Over these weird statues. Alright, please. At least I can always get this. I guess um, the Koopas like blowing up is a good use of um. Oh damn it! I should I should have just waited. I guess um. What was it? Like maybe the um, the fact that the Koopas blow up is a, is the fact that maybe having the Koopa Koopa shells like actually roll around might be too complicated to make work for the Game Boy. I, I have no idea. I'm probably it's it, it's that's probably not what it is. It's probably them just wanting to be weird because like they managed to get the ball power up to work pretty well. So I can't imagine a Koopa shell. Like, Ron, like, moving around the screen would be too much more difficult than that? Maybe not. Maybe it is. I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't program games. I'm just... 
I'm just kind of... Well, I, I wonder about this stuff sometimes, like the... How a game gets... How a game is made, and everything that goes into it, like, just fascinates me a lot, so... Appreciate the de developers, people. Like, they go through... Game devs go through, like, living a living hell to finish the games they make, so... Respect them. <laughs> Especially since a lot of them go through, uh, like, cr game crunch. So... You never know what devs had to go through to make the, your favourite games. So just keep... It's important to keep that in mind, like... Human beings make this stuff, it's, it doesn't just exist. <laughs> it also just makes me fascinated in the sense that, like, I wonder what... Oh, good. It makes me wonder, like, how devs, like, came up with some of the ideas in games. That's why... Stuff like Digino Gaming and whatnot is so popular, because people just enjoy learning stuff about this. Okay. Oh, nice. So I guess um, it goes like... Castle... or not castle, but like weird pyramid thing. Uh, shooter level, and then pyramid, and then I guess the last level will be a shooter, which I, which does make sense because I remember I remember seeing like the lot like the fight with Tatanga being a shoot shooter level, so I guess yeah that that about make yeah. <laughs> I don't know who the composer is for the. It, it, is it still. Um. God, what's his name? Oh, dude, what? Why is his name escaping me? Uh. Damn it. I'm stupid. <laughs> I don't remember his name. The guy that. Koji Kondo, that's it. Like, I know. He doesn't, like, so many different track. track like, different OSTs for. Nintendo. I can't- uh, I can't avoid this frickin' spider. Like, for Nintendo games. I don't know if he also did this game? Um... Damn it. Like, this is another one of those things where, like, I really should've looked this up beforehand, but... Screw it. This is a simple game that is gonna take, like, maybe not even half an hour to record, so... I'm not gonna put much... <laughs> I, I don't- I'm not gonna worry too much about specifics like that. I'm just gonna... Let's, let's just get this done, and then move on with our lives. Except Mario, because he's dead now. Again. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> oh, please. Why am I bad? I suck. <laughs> I, I don't know why I'm dying so much. Okay, can, can you please? I'll just take it easy. Can you please give me a mushroom? Mm. Okay. Yeah, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I know this game isn't supposed to be, like, particularly hard. Well, mm, yeah. Mainly because- I feel like it's mainly because it's so short. I never considered, like, Mario games, or most of them, like, super- I, I would I would never I don't really consider them like super easy for the most part. 
but I don't think they're like meant they're not really meant to be like ultra hard either. Some of them can get pretty difficult. I think Mario 3 can be pretty hard, personally. Yeah, I always always felt like it was kind of exaggerated how easy Mario games actually were. I feel like this game is only quote unquote easy, again, because it's so short and it has been giving me a bunch of lives. Which, yeah. You know, I'd say that definitely, while definitely not being a super challenging game, I'd still say that this game has been, um, given me a decent challenge, even though a lot of it has been me just making dumb mistakes, but either way. Oh, I just realized this is free too, so what's free free gonna be? Oh, it's just another, it's like, Egyptian section part two, I guess. Oh! Yeah, the only real issue I can see with it, people having this, with this game, other than the slightly weird physics, is the fact that it's so short. Again, like, we're, I'm, I haven't even been recording for 30 minutes and we're already, like, near the end of the game. <laughs> So, I can see people having an issue with that, like, I don't remember, I don't know how expensive Game Boy games were at the time, like, when this game came out, so, I don't know if this was, like, really cheap and it didn't really matter, or it, it, if it was, like, really expensive, like, a console game, and it was just like, man, that was not worth, like, £40 or whatever. <laughs> I can imagine that being pretty sucky, if that, if that was the case. But I didn't... Can I get back up there? Nah, it's just one coin, whatever. Yeah, I can... I can, I can sympathize with people if that was how things work. I, I do know Mario Land 2 is quite a bit longer, so there is that at least. But I don't know when that came, game came out. So... Oh god! Yeah, it's fun though. I I quite like this. Quite like this uh, game. W would I rank this above like uh, the other two D Mario games? No, not not really. But again, it's a fun distraction. I'm glad I gave this game a, a game gave this game a shot. And uh, again, I wanted to alternate between 2D and 3D Mario's, and uh, this just makes sense to it just makes sense to do these two games now because I probably wouldn't have any other reason to do this. Not that I really need a reason, but you know, just roll with me here. <laughs> Oh, okay, that was almost bad. And now this is making, reminding me of like, impossible Mario ROM hacks. They have weird stuff like this sometimes. Okay, I need to, yeah, I need to time that better. Oh, hey. Okay. What's with this, like, okay, I, I, don't, I shouldn't say with this game specifically because it's only done like twice, but. Man, invisible block crap just annoys me. <laughs> Maybe not annoying. It, it depends on the context. That one, that wasn't so bad. But yeah, it's just. Oh! Yeah. Yeah, 
the these Easter Island herd enemies are so weird. Ah, come back. Oh, that sucks. We can live. Deal with you. And I just. Oh, okay, that works. No idea if I can jump on that guy, but I assume I can't. Hi, not Daisy. <laughs> what in the hell? Oh, this is different. Oh! I guess it makes sense because this game has already been pretty Eastern inspired. But, this, uh, getting some. Japanese stuff. I never knew this song existed, so this is news to me. This is so cool. Man. Why can't the new Super Mario Bros. games be interesting like this? Okay, I'm gonna shut up. I don't wanna start that. Uh, I don't wanna start that run. Not, not today, anyway. Okay. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, I, I quite dig this, but I don't dig getting blown up. <laughs> yeah, this game is cool. I like it. Yeah, buddy. I'm kind of surprised, because I always, like, heard that people don't really hold this game in high regard. At least... Oh, they come back. At least from the people I've talked to, or seen videos from, and like, people tend- the, the most I've heard about this game is, it's pretty easy, pretty short, and uh, not much else, which I've already addressed the easy part, which I, I mean, I guess, it, to be fair, this is my first time playing the game, but I semi-disagree with it being pretty easy. I mean, it's still not the most- intense game in the world or anything, but I wouldn't say this game is easy. Um, but again, if I do, if I wasn't getting all these lives so quickly, then I would having, I'd be having more issues. Challenging, challenging enough without being too demanding. I, I, that's how I, I would classify this game. But yeah, I just like, it, it doesn't go too crazy, like this is still pretty uh, simple because it's still the Game Boy, obviously, but still, like this is like really cool and unique stuff for a Mario game. I can't believe I haven't played this game until now. <laughs> Damn, dude. I, I wouldn't, I don't know if I'd say missing out would, would be the right term, but... Damn. This game eluded me for a long time. <laughs> and I know Maryland 2 is a pretty, uh, like, people will hold that game in high regard from what I understand, so that'll be exciting. I do, I have seen a full, like, at least, I think a couple full playthroughs of that game at least, so I'm looking forward to trying that one out. Okay, go over there. Okay, screw it, let's just... Jump over. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. So we've got like two levels, and then we're and then we're done, I think.
Good. <laughs> I guess my... The... It's Game Boy, so... I can't harp on this too much, but... One issue I, I, I'm noticing that I'm having is the fact that... Since the sprites are so small, it's giving me a bit of a hard time, like, aiming my jumps. Just a little bit, it's not like killing the game or anything, but it's just something I've noticed. Like, sometimes I just seem to have issues landing on enemies. Oh, hey, how you doing? Yeah, we're almost done here. Just gonna get through, and uh, apparently... Oh yeah, this also goes by Super Mario Bros. 1 Syndrome, where like, you can't go backwards on the screen. Which is a bit annoying, but hey. There's nothing... Nothing we can't... We can't. I mean, I, I don't know what I was trying to say there, it's just... You know, we... we how... how... How am I not getting hit? Okay. Okay, now... That was just me being greedy. <laughs> there you go. When did this game come out? Because, yeah, these are definitely the disco ball things from Mario 3. So, it has to be, like, I, I don't even remember when the Game Boy came out, so I, God knows. I mean, there, there's the, there was the, um, the date when we started the game, so it, that would have told me, or at least given me a good idea of when, I, I don't know. Dude, I don't know if this was a launch title for the Game Boy, but yeah, I have no idea. Okay, let's not die anymore, please. At least in this level, maybe. No! Damn it. Alright, please. Ooh. Oh, good. That's fine. That's die. Uh, that's totally fine. That's not fine. <laughs> God. Good thing that it's, it's a checkpoint. Would be nice if I knew where checkpoints were, but it's, it's not. It's, it's okay. Don't need to worry too much. The levels aren't long anyway, so it doesn't really bother me too much. It's just one of those weird, like. One of those minor things that just would be nice to know, I guess. Taking a lot of unnecessary deaths here. And that's the end, I guess. So I guess now we're doing a sh another shooter level, which... Nice. I have no problem with them, because I like shooter maps. God, I'm a... <laughs> it's like... I became a freaking Toho fan, so, of course. Alright. Alright, let's finish this up, shall we? It's like a weird version of the Mario 1 ground theme. And now we're in the sky! Woo! So I assume... I can't imagine this will be too crazy. Hey, maybe the, um... Shoot'em sure, sure up stuff from the... From Mario Maker... 1 and 2... I forget if the... I, I assume the... The, um... Clown car was in Mar Mario Maker 1. I haven't played the original in so long. I haven't played Mario Maker 2 in so long. But maybe the, um... Sure, up stuff was inspired by this game. <laughs> you never know. I had to imagine like Mario Maker was. But well, I mean, well, I mean the fact that they they uh, added the power up from this game in Mario Maker Two does say something. So yeah, they definitely like took inspiration. They definitely took at least some inspiration from this. I'd say. I kind of wish that they made Mario Mar uh, was it Mario Bros. 2 an actual theme instead of just an item, but you know it's, at least it's something. And then they have like the was it I think you can play as Link, which has his own moveset as well, which 
That's also pretty cool. Alright, get Alvo. It's also kind of reminds me of the, the little plane in the cart pad. Which is pretty cool. It's like a very similar design now that I think about it. Probably, oh, probably sheer coincidence, but just something cool I just noticed. Okay, you're way too- what is this weird cloud thing? <laughs> Making weird noises as well. It's like a sheep. And then Tatanga. Oh no! Is yeah, is that it? I I never knew what Tatanga looked like, so this is uh, news to me. Are you gonna just keep attacking like this? If that's the case, then this shouldn't be too hard, as long as I don't mess up somehow. I almost messed up there. I can't take another hit, so... There we go, cool. And that should be the game beyond, right? As the game just kind of implodes on itself. Is that a real daisy this time? Hooray. Yep. And then Daisy won't show up in a main game ever again. Just relegated to spin-offs. Well, I don't even know if you consider this a main game to begin with, but <laughs> either way. I guess the main credits. I guess this will tell us a few things, like the um, if the composer is actually Koji Kondo. Okay, that's the producer, so... Yeah, it's a cool game. I liked it. I like how there was a lot of different unique ideas in this game in, in this game compared to most Mario games. I like a lot of the music and it's a pretty simple game. Very short, like I've said. Like <laughs> it's only been 42 minutes. But yeah, if you, if you want like a nice simple quick Mario like 2D platforming Mario game, this is pretty good. I enjoyed it quite a bit. I can't, I don't, I don't, I don't see myself playing, again, I don't see myself playing this game religiously or anything like that, and finding all the secrets and one-ups and whatnot, but I can see myself picking this game up every now and then to, just to have a decent time, because, yeah, there, was, there were a few, like, minor issues, like, I, I, I think the, 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 the sprites, were a bit too small, like I had some issues landing on en enemies and just minor stuff like that, like that was kind of annoying but there were minor grievances at best other than that, like this is a pretty good time I, yeah solid, solid game and uh, yeah, okay 1989, that's when the game came out so, yeah that was pretty far into the NES's life cycle like yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't really have much to, else to say, really. Fun game. Like, it's, it's a very simple game, so I don't really need to go on and on uh, like about it. So, yeah, I'll just kind of leave it at that. So, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully Nintendo re re again release a Game Boy, Game Boy Advance. Switch expansion thing or whatever. Or not, don't don't do another expansion. Just keep the keep the expansion pass as it is. Just add the G the Game Boy stuff like to that like as it is. So we get like GB like Game Boy Game Boy Advance stuff. That would be great. But you know, Nintendo be Nintendo sometimes. Yeah. But that being said, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys very soon for Super Mario Land 2, the six golden coins. See you guys then.